no one judge me. Welcome back! What's up guys? It's Angie and today we're gonna be watching another episode, another episode of Arcane. If you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you guys hit the like button on this video and you leave a comment down below. It'll help a lot to push the series out on the YouTube algorithm. And if you enjoy what you see here, if you like me, go check out my other videos as well. I have a bunch of playlists and a bunch of movies, TV show pilots, a bunch of different things that you can check out on my channel. Maybe I've reacted to some of your favorite TV shows and movies. I hope it's a good time. I hope you're enjoying yourself. I really hope this is the episode that we see Jinx and Vi kind of wham it out. I really have- I have a bad feeling about Victor. I have a bad feel- I feel like he's gonna go away this episode, which would be really tragic. Before we begin, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet already so you can stay tuned to all of my content. I post three times a week. Follow me on all my social media. All my handles will be in the description below. And follow me on Twitch. I live stream every Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. And you guys know the drill. I am pushing for partner right now on Twitch. So anytime you see me live streaming, just open up the tab if you can. You don't even have to engage in chat. If you're super busy, just lurk the tab, lurk the stream. It'll help me out a lot. Alrighty, y'all, let's jump straight into the commentary. Oh, whoa, that was creative. And the muffled woohoo, that was cool. Oh, who's Tink? <gasps> Victor? Is that mini Victor? Oh, look at him tinkering. He can't join the other people and swim. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that thing go. Oh, no. You okay, Victor? You all right? Where are you headed? Oh, caves scare me, bro. What is glowing in there? I don't even want to know. It's either bugs or ghosts. <laughs> Give me back my boat. Ew! What are you? Loneliness is often the byproduct of a gifted mind. This is real. Hi, Rio. She's a rare mutation that I cultivated. That you cultivated? Oh, it's food for Rio? I guess that's kind of cute. She's dying. Oh, why? I'm attempting to prevent that. The mutation must survive. Can I help? He's like, I got nothing better to do. We can be loners together. But then you wouldn't be loners anymore. How can you trust this guy? He's a stranger. Stranger danger. Do you contemplate death? Professor? Bro, yeah, this guy's been living for like 300 years or something. <laughs> Butterfly! My contributions will be short-lived, even in your memory. No, stop! Are you kidding me? Without you, Hextech wouldn't have been possible, Victor. Stop it, my heart. Arcane really trying to get me with my heartstrings on this one. I'm telling you, I have a bad feeling that Victor's going this episode. Oh, she's a painter? What can she do? I didn't know you were an artist. Me neither. I got me one of those literally right next to me. I'm a painter too, guys. Look. Me too. Me too. I'm pretty much her, right? I know. I know. I want to see her painting though, low-key. Exactly the sort of thing we wanted to fix with Hextech. Damn. Improving lives, solving real issues, not just trade disputes. Ugh. Victor saved my life once. I hate feeling so useless. Is there nothing you can do? Why did you come to me with this? Nothing feels impossible when I'm with you. <gasps> oh, he's falling for her. I mean, how could he not? Have you seen her? We can't change what fate has in store for us, but we don't have to face it alone. It's a beautiful painting. Yo, that is a beautiful painting and much bigger than I thought it was. I want my own painting room. That'd be pretty cool. Whoa. The lighting in this is actually insane. Even when it glares and it shimmers on his face. Not even the actual Rubik's Cube itself, like, on his face. Oh, right! Something happened with it because your blood mixed with it. No way it's gonna, like, save him or something. Or give him, like, magical powers. Or maybe it does? Hello? Ghost. Jack! <clears throat> Holy, just kidding, it's Jinx. Who are you grabbing? Some girls. I mean, I I'm not grabbing girls. <laughs> Why wasn't I invited to the party? They, they got in a fight with Zavika. Oh, really? Here, for your troubles. Yo, Jinx is so fun. Oh, 
my god, and aggressive. The way that she's getting information, just way too easy. And also, did you see the little crystal thing? She put it in her drink and then she took it out by the straw. The details, man, it's all in the details. Oh, the camera angles are so beautiful, I love it. Can you do this? <laughs> the answer's yes. Ow! But the answer's always yes. Come on, Kate. Who is that? Oh, the firelights. We lost her. Lost who? <laughs> Yo, Jinx is actually ruthless, and I kinda love it. She'll do anything to get her way. Bro, the blur and the spin of the chair into the focus. She's back. She's looking for you. She's with some girl enforcer. Guess she replaced you. It's only a matter of time before you implode. You're about as good for our cause as you were for Bro, your family. Bro, she's doing this on purpose just to, to make her destroy everything because she doesn't like her. I know just how to deliver that message. <laughs> Camera! Why is it so good? Uh, oh! Like, that wouldn't work in real life. I mean, I guess they can try, but it wouldn't be the same or look as cool as an animation. Also, you, Sheriff Guy, did you know? Did you tell Silco that Vi was dead? That must have been it. That must have been it. Uh, <gasps> time Daddy joined us. I, bet, I guess we're about to find out! Ooh. Vander's daughter? She was about your age. Man. But it seems she never made it. Could you imagine being separated from your father. That subtle threat that he gave <laughs> with this daughter right in front of him. Oh. Can't control her. Then of what use are you? I can fix this. Oh man. Now please leave the child. Go away. <laughs> Their backhanded freaking threat. Accidents happen. Bro, you're relentless. You're rude. I thought you had sympathy for children, but clearly you don't. You just brought one into it. Rude. It responds to organic matter. Whoa. It, it could be the key to augmenting physiology, extending life, curing you. Or killing you. I can't determine why. Rejecting the transmutation. I can feel my body eroding. He's so close to breakthrough though, that could possibly maybe even cure him. Oh, but if he doesn't make it, at least, I mean, at least he'll be helping the lives of so many others, but like still, oh man, it's like so close. It's where the kind of people you topsiders don't want to think about wind up. <laughs> I think you need to find, like, someone who can heal you. Someone who can mend you, please. God, just let her help you. I suppose Topside is to blame for all your misfortunes. Not all of them. Oh, kind of true. Oh my god, her seeing powder. Oh, my heart. You have a good heart. You've got a good heart. Oh no, the same line as Vander. Literally the people with the most intense emotional like past Vi and Powder. It's just like building up and building up episode on episode. Ugh. What's most exciting is that it reacts to biological matter. What is he seeing? You must destroy it. Oh, no. Wait, no, I won't let you. Uh-oh, this is gonna backfire or something i will have it destroyed one way or another please no that's scary oh my god i don't know what he saw i hope nothing bad happens to victor easy easy that, that, that's 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 fine right i owed her old man my life oh man what happened to him i do know someone else who might be able to help thank goodness he knows why uh she's been stabbed <laughs> Okay, I guess. Why would you take something that does that to you? Wanted to feel what it was like to make other people afraid. Man, that's the effects of Shimmer. She's gonna trade her weapon for it? That's ballsy. Thank you. I really Doesn't even give her time to show her appreciation. Tell her I'm sorry about everything, okay? 
Oh my god, my heart. I don't even know this guy. And my heart is like breaking for him. He just wanted to help Vi. That's actually incredible. For now, we need to prevent any further attacks. Searching everyone who crosses the bridges. Then that's what we'll do. Are you certain? One other thing. I saw Caitlyn Kiriman had a prisoner released on your order. Oh, but it wasn't on his order. Kate lied about it, right? I'm wondering if this going if this is going towards Silco's plan or if this is going <laughs> a different way. There's so much going on at once and that's what makes the show really cool is that they're able to do these things all at once but also have me lost at the same time. And I'm telling you, I always mention this in good TV series. If I'm a little lost, that's a good thing. It would be no fun if I wasn't lost. If I could predict things that are going to happen, like that'd be boring. I believe if we set aside our greed and arrogance, we can be one again. And who holds you accountable? Shimmer is rampant in the Undercity, all under your watch. You really be pointing fingers at him. Time and again, you've warned us what not to do. What's your plan to fix this? We can't wait for progress. Your years of service can never be repaid. I believe it's time we gave the beloved founder of our city a well-deserved retirement. Oh! Why are you trying to do this? No, and they're gonna agree with him. No way, he's actually gonna do this. With my deepest respect and appreciation, Professor. But he just wants what's best for the people. Why are you kicking him out of the council? This is kind of insane. Bro, he... What the... Why? What? How's that gonna help you? He's giving good advice. He's being precautious, but that's not a bad thing to do. He's just trying to protect people. <laughs> Holy. You all right? What the heck? What was that? Was it a little drop of, of shimmer? Did it heal her? Yo, the littlest drop of shimmer, I guess, can be like healing too much. Can be like, ugh. Silco will be watching. Oh, please be careful. Watch where you're going. You're gonna bring this whole place down. How do you not know if your sister is alive or dead? It's hard to check up on people from inside a concrete cell. She literally got taken away right when Silka was walking over to her. <laughs> Silko! Vanda's prodigy. No. What have you done with my sister? Oh, she is more than I ever imagined. Oh my gosh, he's just giving it out for free! He's just giving a bunch of shiver and turning these people into monsters! For what? I'm gonna find her and erase whatever fucked up delusions you put in her head. True. Oh, she's gonna knock down the place. That's kind of smart. You don't know your limits, girl. What drove your sister away? She didn't drive her away, she got taken by the enforcer. Don't too much. Yes, it's gonna be too easy for her. Oh, let's go. Oh, I just remembered. The guy in the glasses? Is that not the guy from the beginning who did the trades with Vander? Right? It was. I'm right. I'm literally right. I know that I'm right. My dog has joined me for this part of the commentary. Right, Gomi? Right. She's needy, but she also doesn't want me to work at the same time while I cuddle her. Let's see how long this holds up. She might start barking, and then I'm, I'm gonna have to put her upstairs. Wherever you are, light it up, and I'll find you. <gasps> oh, she's gonna try to find Vi? <gasps> oh, is she gonna see it? I swear to God. I hope that she finds her. Yo, the full pan around? Oh, see, look at her trying to escape. But Gomi, it's such a dramatic moment. <gasps> Yo, the Milo Clagger, no. That was a cool shot. Them going through the tube and then them adding more ammo to the freaking barrels of their guns. Again with the awesome music. Oh, flip them off, Vi. Gumi, she flipped them off. I gotta bring her upstairs. Arcane and its music, man. It's so good. Oh. The cave from the first scene. Oh no. The mutation must survive. Why must he survive? Oh my god, so the, he gave him shimmer, I'm assuming? I don't understand. I understand now. I don't understand. Can you someone explain it to me, please? He's in a tub. How many problems can one girl cause? <gasps> Yo! Oh my gosh! She really pulled a Katniss 
Everdeen in the freaking catching fire test score test thing, except she used an actual freaking person. She seemed alive though, Loki, and it's not a dummy. She used an actual person, but still, whoa, that was kind of it's. That's really it goes really goes to show Jinx is kind of loco right now. But please, this has to be the episode where they meet. Please, powder. <gasps> Oh my god, it is! It is! It is! Oh my god, my heart is beating so fast. Why? Powder! Oh my god. Oh my god, my heart! Are you real? Things changed when you left. I changed. Oh my god! Yeah, I mean, you guys both changed a lot. Oh shoot. It's okay. She's a friend. You're with an enforcer? Your sister is Jinx. Listen, we can work this out. Oh. Shut up. <gasps> oh shoot. Oh, Milo coming back for a split second. Oh, it's cool to see her bad side. And it always shows when Milo is there or something. You're not a Jinx. God, I never should Stop talking to me like I'm a child. Was that why you came? For this stupid stone? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. You can fire that thing if you want, but I'm not going to abandon you again. Oh, whoa, the, the effect, the scratchy effect on Jinx. Oh my God, it just really symbolizes her trauma and it symbolizes just, oh God, the moment that she touched her, it's like a moment of clarity, but then all the voices in her head is telling her that she's like the bad one. She's the evil one. She's the one that can't trust anybody and she's a bad person. And it gives me the chills and it makes me all like, oh, it makes my heart like kind of fold over in a sense. And the way that they show it artistically with the scratches, with Milo showing up, with Clagger showing up. Ah! It gives me the chills. It's so good. Whose side is Vi going to take though? She's kind of like a neutral. <gasps> oh, the fire lights are back. What are the fire lights important for though? I don't even know who the fire lights are. Why are they significant? I have no idea, but it's epic and it's crazy and- Oh! Oh shoot. Does she freaking neo that ish? Matrix who? Oh shoot, oh shoot, yeah, go by With the melees? That thing is Oh, she's seeing what Jinx has become. Oh no. They took the crystal! Oh my god, the action is so good in this. Bro, Vi seeing who Powder's become. What? They took Vi? Bro, I don't know whose side is gonna be on who. Oh my god. Who's this? I knew they were gonna see each other this episode. And the whole new thing with Victor in the tube that's Once just new thing about Victor and the, the weird founder of Pilgrim real Lord creature the city in general. The and now she's taken! And now she's taken! I don't know who's on whose side. I don't know who to root for. I have no idea. But this is freaking so good. And it makes me like want to get like more into like what the game of League is so I can better understand it a little bit. OMG. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed that episode, make sure you leave a thumbs up. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't yet already so you can stay tuned to all of my content. And don't forget to check out my last video. Peace out. I need to like heal from this episode. When I tell you that my heart folded in half when I saw them together, and it's only been six episodes. Most TV shows can't do this in their entire run. <gasps> Have the best day ever. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Okay, bye, okay, bye, okay, bye.